Well, happy Sunday, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with SouthernIndianaWeather.com, bringing you a morning forecast update. It's Sunday, and it is the last day of September 2014. This forecast update today is sponsored by Metal Magic in Washington. Give Chad a call at 698-8555 for all of your paintless dent repair needs. They do a fantastic job, folks. They're PDR Nation certified. Be sure to tell them that Southern Indiana weather sent you. Satellite and radar in motion. It is just a gloomy start to the morning. And, you know, you can see a little bit of the clearing line out here to our west, but how much that works into our area today is just I'm not that optimistic about. May see a few breaks in the clouds today, but we are expecting more scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. And you can see uh, it's just sort of a non-stop uh, steady stream. Uh, now it's starting to break up a little bit from the overnight hours, but we are expecting more of this shower and thunderstorm development as the day wears on. Here's a live look at radar. It's about 6.37 a.m. as I'm recording this. You can see not a whole lot going on here on SkyTracker HD, powered by the Washington Indiana Verizon Wireless uh, premium retailer, the cellular connection. And you can see just a few showers uh, more around the area, but again, I think that we've got a, a pretty good chance of some development today. Let's take a look at that on the high res NAM, and you can see exactly what I mean. Here we are from the overnight hours, and you can see how the radar moved uh, that through, but it becomes more of a scattered threat today. But you know, we do still have some showers and thunderstorms that will pop up today, so. Um, take an umbrella with you folks on your way out to church this morning because you may end up needing it. If you don't need it on the way into church, uh, you may need it when you get out of church. The reality is our storm chances really will just stay around all day. In fact, uh, pretty much almost as far as the eye can see in the extended outlook as well. And then uh, as we go through the afternoon, you know, it's not going to be an absolute deluge of rain. You can see here that it's just sort of some scattered stuff around the area. I think maybe the high-res NAM might be underestimating it, what we could be uh, seeing just a little bit, but uh, nonetheless, not a huge risk for today. Now, uh, as we go into the overnight hours and then into tomorrow, we still have that risk, but by the time Monday comes, there you go, you can see a pretty nice little line of thunderstorms headed our way. And um, now how this ends up interacting with us, we'll have to see a pretty good shot at severe weather out in uh, portions around Iowa, central Illinois, maybe even in the Indiana where there is a slight risk for severe weather. Uh, by the time it gets here, though, it's pretty late into the night. You can see here it is 2 a.m. on future radar before it's starting to enter into our area, and it's very much in a weakening mode after, at, after that. Um, now, we do have a 5% probability for severe weather on Tuesday, um, but really it's going to be a, a big question mark as to how much we end up seeing with that. Um, we may end up having a fair amount of cloudiness around on Tuesday, and that could limit us. All right, let's talk about uh, the rainy weather that we can expect, and let me just sort of put the... Uh, your MPN model here into motion for you. And uh, basically what I want you to see is pretty much every day this week we have almost some sort of a chance of precipitation. Uh, whether or not it is uh, some days fairly good chance, some days a fairly isolated chance. But really as far as the eye can see in the extended outlook, we've got that chance. Temperature wise, we're facing some warm temperatures. The Euro deterministic model actually wants to take us back into the 90s. Um, by later in the week, I'm a bit skeptical of that. I went with upper 80s at this point instead, but that's something that we'll continue to monitor. But you do see a very nice cool down next weekend. Take a look at this with temperatures uh, into the upper 70s for highs, but notice what it correlates with. Uh, here's your rain chances down at the bottom, and you can see that it correlates with fairly decent amounts of rain chances as well by next weekend. Now, is this a pattern change? You know, uh, this is a way different pattern than what we have seen uh, over the, really the past year where we've been uh, below normal a good amount of time and then we go above normal for you know, just a tiny little bit and then, and then we go back down. Here's what um, the question is, is it a pattern change? And I'm not really just ready to say yet that it is a pattern change. Uh, we're going to have to give it another couple weeks and see whether this pattern holds out. But what I can say is this, as we take a look at the upper level winds and we put them into motion, here we've got that rain from this the early in the week. Um, but then what I want you to notice is we have another one of these death ridges start to set up over the southeast uh, portion of, this, of, the, uh, of the U.S. And that's going to funnel in the hot weather again. That will retreat back to the west by the time the weekend comes. And notice we're on sort of this northwest flow uh, in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And of course, remember, storm chances like to ride along the edge of that upper level ridge. So that'll put us firmly in the storm chance zone for next weekend. That starts to break down just a little bit and we go um, 
into sort of a more zonal flow. Um, so is this a new pattern where we're not having a, a ton of dips constantly going down under us and keeping us below normal? We'll see because uh, really the West hasn't had a dip like this that's been persistent in the jet stream for a long time. They've been above normal for a long time. They're getting some much needed relief uh, temperature wise out there and, and, and probably some rain to go along with that as well. Will that eventually switch back over to us? Um, yeah, very, very, very strong possibility. Uh, I'm not ready to say it is a complete game changer yet. Uh, if it is, that will certainly change the winter forecast. So I suppose we could cross our fingers, um, but I'm not ready to say that yet. We'll give it another couple of weeks and see whether this pattern continues to persist or not. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes these things happen and it might just be a little bit of a break. We will see. 16-day temperature spread here from the GFS Ensemble, as you can see, there we go. Pretty warm in the middle of the week, and again, that, that upper-level death ridge kicks in, and the Ensembles want to kick us up to near 90 degrees. I've went with upper 80s as far as I've went in my forecast. Uh, but then after that, you go to a nice cool-down. Take a look at this, and, uh, and we go back down to even some upper 70s here with rain next weekend, but temperatures only moderate back up to the low to mid-80s, so uh, that's not bad. And by the way, normal temperatures this time of the year is actually 84 degrees today. By the time you get here into the extended outlook and you're looking to the mid part of September, normal high is hovering right around 80 degrees. So it's still an above normal pattern even here in the GFS ensemble temperature spreads, but only by 2 or 3 degrees. So not bad, and certainly I'll take 81, 82 degrees over those 90 degrees any day. Storm Prediction Center outlooks, again, just really quickly, there is a slight risk of severe weather out of our area for uh, for Monday, rather. Again, we're going to watch a squall line set up and start to push in our area. On Tuesday, we are under that 5% marginal risk. Could this be something that affects us? Possibly, possibly not. There are a lot of questions here. Again, how cloudy it stays that day is going to determine uh, pretty much everything. And right now, looks like a pretty cloudy day to me at, at this point, which uh, I, I don't see them raising it more than a 5% risk at this point because of that. But we will keep an eye on it. All right, folks, here's my latest forecast. You can go to southernindianaweather.com. Click on the forecast button up at the top to get this. I'm going with about 81 today. If we get a, if we were to have an all-day rain, it could stay in the 70s easily, but I don't think it's going to be an all-day rain. looks more like a, just a gloomy, mostly cloudy day, maybe a few breaks of sunshine here and there, um, but um, scattered storms again popping up this afternoon. 81, your high, 69, your low tonight. Be a little bit warmer tomorrow, partly cloudy. Again, that thunderstorm chance is fairly low during the afternoon hours. starts to increase more as we get into the overnight hours 86 your high 72 your low and then on tuesday it's just going to be i think a, a pretty much a gloomy day with widespread showers and thunderstorms only a high around 83 warms up again as you go into the extended outlook i've went with 86 wednesday 87 thursday and up to 88 on friday i haven't went with the 90s yet i'm just uh, not wanting to go there yet um, this far out on the outlook i just think the models struggle with that and they've been overestimating our temperatures uh, during this heat wave for the past few weeks so i went with 80 on our high there is a possibility that we could hover close to 90 again it's going to be hot by the end of the week let's not kid ourselves regardless it's going to be an above normal uh, a week once again in that regard you see scattered showers and thunderstorm chances persist all week long more of an isolated fashion though on wednesday and thursday starts to become more of a scattered fashion on friday and then by the time the weekend comes saturday it's looking wet again with a high temperature around 80 if it stays in all day rain we'll stay in the 70s not ready to go there quite just yet uh, and then on and then as you go further on to the extended outlook which you don't have pictured here, uh, even Sunday and Monday are starting to look pretty wet at this point as well. We'll keep an eye on that, and uh, we will see how things pan out. All right, folks, that's it for this morning video update. I have another one of these for you tomorrow. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite for Southern Indiana Weather. Have a great day, and remember to take your umbrella with you to church this morning.